Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. We have some more Derby City Classic 9-ball action for you. Up next, we have Shane Van Boning versus Ivor Saris. Shane on the right, Ivor on the left. They didn't stand in the same order as their names on screen. You're going to have to have a talk with them about that. <clears throat> All right, looks like Ivor won the leg. So we're playing some Derby City Rules 9-ball, which is kind of like CSI Rules 9-ball. It's rack your own. The break is the winner's option. Most people will opt to break, but they don't have to. The 9 under break is a win in every pocket, even though it's rack your own. The 2-ball must be racked at the back of the rack, and jump cues are not allowed. If you want to jump, you have to do it with your full playing cue. And as always, a 3-foul rule is in effect. I'm your host, Kevin Ross. All right, Ivor with the break. And already I see that's not a legal uh, rack. You didn't have the two at the back. Yeah, he's broken him up pretty good. He's made a ball. You can see the one. I don't know if you can see enough of it to make it. You may just want to. You may just have to be, uh, have to bank the one out of there. Try to get the key ball back behind the two. All right, bring Shane to the table. Um, he could go for the bank on this one. Could also try to send the cue ball up table behind that three, five mess of balls. I think he's gonna go for the bank. All right, good effort. Gonna bring Ivor back to the table. Cut this in the side, gonna be running into the end of the two ball. Bank across side, try to hold up the cue ball, even that I don't think can really hold it up. Yeah, he's just gonna cut in the side, run into the two and take your chances. Oh well that was unlucky. He didn't even hit it very hard. I mean, uh, figure, you figure hitting it that soft, there's no way it'll make it to the pocket. It found a way. Looks like Shane's playing for this billiard. It looks like he's got pretty good on it. That's very good speeds, especially seeing as how he was coming across the line and not coming straight at it, so very nice speed control there. Nicely done. And from here, most of the, you know, the problems have been pretty much solved. I was about to say, you just want to make sure you stay on the correct side of that six, you know. Uh, you know, here's the straight in line. You know, you basically want to stay on this side, not this side, because then on, on this side, you know, you're running into the nine ball. If you uh, you try to cut the six in, and he's come up a little too far, but not enough that it is going to be a problem. He was right on the borderline of it being a problem. Nice 
nice soft touch. That's the thing about Shane. He's not afraid to slow roll a ball. Some other players would, they would never slow roll that uh, that ball to the corner. They'd come around, you know, four rails before they would shoot it soft like that. Shane doesn't mind. In case I forgot to mention it, we're playing a race to nine. That's what that little nine in parentheses means. Shane is opting to break. <clears throat> Big shocker. Seeing as how he practices for hours a day breaking, uh, it would seem a shame not to use it. Uh, there is a rule that I have neglected to mention. It's the, the that they play with here at Derby City. It's special to Derby City. It's the uh, run out the set rule. If Shane or somebody were to run out the set from the very first game, you know, the other guy never gets to the table except for maybe for the very first break. Then the other guy has is given the opportunity to try to do the same. He they you know they'll let him break once and if he can run out the set to tie it back up to eight eight, then he'll have a one game tiebreaker. Or actually it'd be nine nine. So yeah, if he if he can tie it back up to nine nine It'd be a one-game tiebreaker going to 10. It's an interesting rule. I don't know how often it's ever come up, if ever. This rack. Yeah, opting to stay low of the eight. Just fine, you can go up, back up and down table, no problem. Break and run by Shane. Last game, last game Shane had the two ball at the back. He seems to have forgotten already. have been having a lot of trouble 
Getting tight racks on these tables. You should just use magic racks. But then again, a magic rack in nine ball is almost like cheating because it's so easy to make the corner ball on the break if you're using the magic rack. It's like cheating. Clobbered him pretty good. He's made a couple balls on the break. I think he's partially hooked on this one. Looks like he's probably going to have to play a rail first shot. Yeah, he's going to line it up. Shane's one of the very few pros that will actually physically measure the distance uh, off the rail and then use that mirror system and find the spot on the rail. Most pros will do it in their head. He's not afraid to. He's not afraid to show his work. He's not afraid that it's gonna make him look like less of a pro if he actually shows everyone the system he's using. That was a nice shot. Come around nice for the two. Using the second rail to help control the speed of the cue ball. And I would have to say that this rack has been solved. From here, it's just staying in line. And from here, one ball leads to the next quite nicely. Float this in for a nice three nothing lead. <clears throat> yep, I'm going there. I'm putting the commentator's jinx on him. There, I tried, Ivor. I tried to help you out. Didn't work. Starting to think uh, that first game when Shane had the two at the back of the rack, that might have been just a coincidence, not not actual uh, a conscious placement. does clobber them nice, but he tends to put a lot of follow on the cue ball. He's made a ball. Can he see the one? Yeah, he can see the one. It's right there. Well, he must he must like the shot on the one because now he's uh, he's down looking at the two ball. Looking to see if the two passes the seven, so he must have a shot on the one. All right, this is a bit of a tester. Safe here. 
Uh, can you just roll the two ball up to the end rail and let the cue ball drift in behind the seven? Or is that available or is that kind of sitting a little funny for that? I think it might be sitting a little funny for that. I don't see I don't see a real easy safety. So might as well just go for the shot. Tough safe or tough shot? Eh, go for the tough shot. Oh wow, I I thought he was gonna cut it to the other corner. I thought he had a shot to the other corner. Thought he could cut it to the other corner and let the cue ball drift over for the three. I guess not. That was a really nice shot on the two. Unfortunately, not much on the three. Oh, he's almost made that. Wow. Yeah, he wouldn't have liked that shot on the four anyway. All right, it's going to bring Ivor to the table. I don't know if he can draw to the other side of the side pocket. He might have to shoot this with a high ball, high right, uh, go to the rail and back out towards the middle of the table. Unless he can draw it past the side. No, he's just going with the, the high right, coming back to the center of the table, or even center right. Unfortunately, he got kind of jacked up over this six ball. It was a little unfortunate. Yeah, this shot's hard enough without the six ball there. Safe? No, nope, not really. Well, <clears throat> even though he can see the four, he doesn't really have have much here. I mean, if he tries to pocket this four, what's he gonna have on the five? Doesn't like it. Just sending the four up table. Looks like he might have the good angle. He can run right into the right. He can run into the five. It looks like. Looks like he can go. You know, maybe a little bit straighter than that. <laughs> Don't follow my lines. And that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, that's it. That that was sitting. Just about perfect to run into it. Unfortunately, <laughs> it didn't really pan out. So, but all you have here is a safety. Thin off to five, cue ball back up table. Using that six and nine as blockers. Like so. Oh, that might leak out a little and let him see it. Yeah, looks like he's let him see it. Not enough to make it, but at least he can come with a safety here. Just Probably shoot it soft, five on one rail, cue ball over on the other rail. He's just trying to hit it thin and send cue ball back up table. 
And he's done that nicely. He's got him hooked. Here, I think you just go for the hidden stick. Just try to send the uh, five ball. Yeah, try to, you know, stick the cue ball there. Send the five ball up table. Stop, stop changing camera angles while I'm drawing. Anyway, five up table to the end rail. That's what I'm trying to say. Somebody was trying, and he just caught it just a hair too thin. And unfortunately for him, it's sitting pretty nice for Shane. Come around three rails, cue ball near that other side pocket for a nice shot on the seven. And that's pretty good. And follow to the side rail and right back to the right between that nine seven. Or maybe not. Table's running kind of fast. I don't think you can hold this. I think you got to go up and down table with this one. Oh, where's that cue ball going? Oh, straight in the side. Well, well that's not where the cue ball's going, but left him straight in the side. Sends his lead four to nothing. Race to nine. So I'm your host, Kevin Ross, with Railroads Productions, bringing you all this free coverage of the Derby City Classic. Bringing you some one pocket and nine ball. Sorry we didn't uh, have any banks uh, to, to show you guys this year. Maybe next year we can get some banks recorded. If you're enjoying these videos, be sure to share them with your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, share the links, share the love. Uh, he clobbered him. And he's looking pretty good. Wow, look at this. One, two, three, nine. Can you say short rack? How do you want to? How do you want to get to this three nine from the two? You have to, from the one ball, you have to keep all over here. Come this way, just out here. I think that's probably. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's gonna do. Let's come around like that. I should stop trying to draw. I know the camera angles are gonna change. Oh, he's going fancy. He's going four rails. Oh, he's coming up short. Fortunately, this billiard doesn't look too bad. He's nice and close to it, so that'll make things a bit easier. Oh! And just like that, five nothing. clobber him, which I see no reason why he wouldn't. Mm 
He hits him really hard, but he does put a lot of follow on the cue ball. If that one goes past the three, and I think it does, these are sitting pretty nice. Looks like he can draw. Looks like he can draw off the four. One ball that way, cue ball off the four, up this way for the two in the side. Well, he's in a hurry. He's got a plane to catch. He's making them two at a time now. Get out past the five so you can cue comfortably. Just get back to the middle of the table. When in doubt, go to the middle of the table. You can draw to the rail and back out to the middle, or you can follow two rails, but I think it probably, I think I like drawing on this one. Let's you keep a nicer angle on the six than trying to follow. Could have just rolled that in for a position on the nine, but starting to feel it. He's wanting to let the stroke out a little. Well, if it keeps going like this, this could be a pretty quick uh, set. Shane Van Boning with that H21 Fargo rate is considered by Fargo rate to be the number one player in the world right now. With Jason Shaw at number two. Look at this one. Uh, an uncharacteristic miss by Shane. All right, Ivor, here's your chance. You've given Shane his spot. You can you can start turning it on now. I think, can, I think you can see enough of this to cut it to the corner. <laughs> no, maybe not. He's he's having a double check at this. It's pretty close. Oh no! Did he hook him? Nope. It's kind of flirting a little bit over there. But it worked out. line on the three. Probably going to just roll forward for the four on the side. Just make sure he gets a nice angle on this. All right, choosing choosing to remain, come up short on the four so he can follow three rails. I thought he might roll forward closer to the nine to follow forward from the four to the six, but he's perfectly happy to 
Shoot a stop shot on the three to that three railer. It's a nice shot. Control on that draw shot. This nine ball for a very commanding seven nothing lead. Shane sure does make it look easy, doesn't he? Yeah, that's Shane. You know, he wins a lot of games, but yeah, it doesn't do anything special. It never shoots a hard shot. It just always just shoots easy. He always just has easy shots. I could do that. Uh-huh, sure. Balls on the break. All right, tough shot on the one to start with. Yeah, oh, that's uh, two games in a row. He's missed kind of a similar shot on the one to start. Last time he undercut it. This time he overcut it. Next time you'll be dialed in perfectly. Missed it good, though. Missing good is a skill. might be able to do kind of a two-way shot where he cuts the one to that left, lets the cue ball come down underneath these balls. You know, if he, if he makes it, great. If not, he probably has a lot of balls to hide behind. You know, if he made it, you know, he shoot at like three in the side or something like that. Opting instead to bank it to one. Oh, slow down, cue ball. Shot on the nine, not an easy shot. Like if there was a uh, if there was a safety available, he might shoot a safety, but yeah, that was not an easy shot. Like I said, missing good is a skill. That was not a planned backup safety in case I missed. That just <laughs> got a little got a little fortuitous there. <clears throat> ah, 
Ah, just kick it in and run out. Big bounce three, a big bounce. That's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't call this a hanger, but you should you should be able to handle this. Some right spin, come around two, three rails for the five in the side. Woohoo! This angle that he has on the five. I don't think he can draw back for the seven side. I think he has to go up table. A little bit of high right, come two rails for the seven on the same side. That's what he's doing. And all right, shoot the same shot again. Oh, this time maybe just one rail straight up and down table, you know, no uh, no right spin this time. One rail straight up, maybe even two rails. He's going to use the second rail. That's nice. It's nice to use that second rail. And that's, looks like absolutely perfect angle on the eight. Nicely done. And with this nine ball, that'll put Ivor on the scoreboard. All right, yeah, you guys can clap. It's all right. Have we seen Ivor break yet? Um, yeah, I think he won the lag. He broke first game. It doesn't look like either player are putting the two ball at the back of the rack. Oh, he is now. Did he hear me? Oh, no, that wasn't the two he put back. That was the six he just put back there. Dry break. Dry break. All right. One ball to uh, Shane's nemesis of a pocket up there. He's not had much luck making the one in that pocket uh, after the break. Like I said, the last two times he was dialing in. He overcut it, then under, uh, undercut it, then overcut it. So now he's dialed in. He should make this no problem, right? I think this is actually a harder. Yeah, this is definitely a harder shot than uh, than those. This is a harder shot than those two that he missed. So yeah, probably just play safe here. How do you play safe here, though? Oh, that's how you play safe. Get under the six three. Is it going to get there? It is. Is it going to leak out? No, it isn't. That's a pretty nice shot. I think the shot he's looking at is to come across the top of the one if he can. Cue ball, say cue ball comes over here. One ball banks back up. Yeah, one ball banks up this way. Cue ball goes this way. You know, coming across the top of the one. That's what he'd like to do. I think that's what he's looking at. 
Yeah, that's what he was trying and just caught it just to, just too full. It's a nice effort. Unfortunately, I think Shane's going to lock him up in here behind these balls. Oh, pardon me. Oh, he's got him in there locked behind that, too. That's a nice shot. Yeah, I don't think I'd even try to kick it this. I'd be looking to try to tie something up. Let me push that two up uh, between that eight, nine. Bank the five over in front of the two. If you can see the five, that is. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to push the two over between the eight and nine. So we are playing three foul. You can shoot the one, try to get the cue ball in this area, bank the two out, leave the cue ball back here. Oh, he's going for the breakout. All right. Um, nice breakout. Oh, we're, what do we do here? You can shoot the two into either corner, top corner or bottom corner, but don't really like either of those. So where do we play safe here? Oh, behind the five. It's a pretty nice shot. Nice hit. Is it going to go? Mm. Can't get any love. Looks like the looks like the three will pass the five. This looks like you can shoot the two and the three in the same corner. No, you didn't like it. It's a nice touch. Looks like he's just about straight in. Come across for the four. Here, where do you want to get on the six? If you want to play for the six for the side, you just want to come up short, you know, slow down, slow down. You want to make sure you have the right angle or the cue ball is still going to be going up table. And this looks pretty good. And just draw across table for the seven into the right corner. Or just follow. It's a nice touch. All right, Shane's on the hill.
you know, Iber, he's, he's not playing bad. He's definitely not playing bad. He's just can't get really anything to really go his way. Yeah, but if Iber can, if he can win this game and then and then put a few racks together, start putting some uh, some pressure on. You know, he's he's not out of this. He's still got a chance. Did he make a ball? He did not make a ball. First try break for Shane yet. The nice look at this one to get started. And come down one rail right back over here for the two in the corner. And that does leave a nice angle to break out the uh, the three. And that's what he's, that's the angle he's left himself. Yeah, two over here. Yeah, cue ball break is out. Problem is, you know, a three is gonna be, you know, going up that way and you got this four here. So it's, it's gonna be, be kind of hard to get a shot. You have to kind of put some speed into this and hope to get a shot. You know, if you go into them soft, you know, you know it's gonna, not really going to have a shot. And he did try to go into a little bit with a little bit of speed, trying to get a shot, but it hasn't really worked out. Ah, he can, uh, he's gonna bank, bank the three at that bottom left corner. Suck the cue ball in behind the seven if he misses, and if he makes it, great, he's got a shot on the four. Nice, nice two-way shot. Oop, did that leak out? can see it. Center of the hole. Perfect on the four. Nice shot by Shane. Yeah, things aren't looking too good for Ivor. Hopefully I'm saying his name right. Roll it in nice and soft, seven in the other side. And this matches just about over. Shooting Shane defeats Ivor nine to one. You know, Ivor wasn't shooting bad. He just wasn't really. Things just weren't rolling his way. You know, if 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 there was a chance for him to get bad luck, he was going to get bad luck. If there was a chance for Shane to get good luck, he was going to get good luck. So it just wasn't working out. All right, thank you guys for watching. We got plenty more DCC uh, matches coming up on our channel. So be sure to subscribe so you can get notified when those videos go up. All right, I'm Kevin Ross with Railbirds Productions. Thanks for watching.